Um, Dr. Robin, you are here. Uh, <laughs> uh, Pastor Warren, first of all. My goodness. What do we say? I, just thank you. You know, I just I, I feel like we need to be in gratitude for people who have walked into their purpose and are feeding us every single day. Uh, I met him because Kevin Powell walked in. I've known him forever. We are birthday twins. Uh, and it's ironic. Eight years ago, I was like, Kevin needs a show. And he was on, you know, he was on, but he was busy. And now the the word, you know, and I, I never press anybody. I'm like, when when the time is right, you'll be back. You'll be back, you know, because yeah. I'm not going anywhere. I always folk think I'm, I'm I'm never going anywhere. So stop it. Um, but yeah, he introduced, he was like my pastor. So I was like, okay, let me bring him on. Cause if that's who you're going to church with, you have evolved. I love this. This man is everything. Yes, he is. Yes. And I heard, I can, I was introduced to him because I am a listener, as you know, of a Karen Hunter show. And so in I think it was like January 3rd. I remember thinking, is this a rerun? Is Karen? I mean, she should still be on vacation, but you weren't. And this was the first time he was on your show. And I was texting you and I'm texting other people saying, I don't know who this man is. But I mean, just I knew right then. And then, you know, when he was on your show the second time. So he was such a gift um, and so unashamed of what he knows to be true. He's paid for it. I mean, in many ways, he's really paid for that truth, as have you and as have I. Uh, but what a what a dynamic, authentic man. What did you w- want to pull from him in that pan? Like, what was the impetus? Okay, because we all, like, I, I, I hear people all the time, I was like, ooh, I want to just talk to them. I never really have a game plan. I'm just, I just, like, we don't have a game plan. We haven't talked today. Right. I just want to talk with you. This is stuff going on in the world I want to ask you about because you're here. Let's go. What was it that you, because your show is very, uh, you're very specific about what it, what your purpose is with the Dr. Robin show. Absolutely. I'll tell you, when I heard him on your show, because I understand um, the insides of the Black church and the way in which so many people who are part of the church, and, and that's this is a terrible generalization, but I'm going to make it anyway, um, there is so much bondage. And there are so many ways that people are, and we've had it happen on your show and my show, but because your show is live, where people want to argue and fight about uh, the, you know, the, the word of God and about, you know, w- what is true and what is not. And so because he is, um, he studied, but he has not just studied what someone told him to believe. He also has studied for himself. And so I wanted him to bring that perspective because we were the topic of the two weeks of shows is I've got my mind made up to be free. Mm. And so I wanted to talk to him about freedom and what does it mean to be free and how does one claim and proclaim um, and declare freedom regardless of religion, but particularly because uh, of his role as pastor. Also, he was willing to talk about his own journey, his own mental health journey. And, you know, part of what has made me relatable is because I am not only Dr. Robin and I'm not only the Reverend Dr. Robin, but I'm Robin who has suffered and who has had the floor of my own life just completely fall from beneath me. And so he was willing in ways that I did not know to talk about his own journey of of suffering and of reclaiming Uh, being a whole human being. We talked about the difference between wholeness and healing, you know, and and what are we really seeking and and searching for? So he just, I felt, and and he delivered more than I could have imagined. Um, He and the other guests, uh, Jay Barnett, who is a former uh, professional football player who tried to uh, die by suicide twice, Mm. um, whose parents were pastors. Uh, He grew up in the church. And um, so he, and and also, you know, he's a football player. And so the the way in which you just suck it up. And so he brought his own, um, 
you know, and he's got a, a whole thing called Hey Bro, and that's traveling around the country. Uh, and then a wonderful woman um, who is the founder, Lauren, uh, of Black Girl Smile. And so she had her own story of mental health and mental wellness and what tried to rob her smile. And now she is working with thousands, if not millions of black girls and women, but particularly black girls to claim their joy. I love it. Um, you guys who have the app, get the Sirius XM app. If you don't have it, you can just download it into your phone or tablet and um, go to uh, search and then put in Urban View, make that your favorite. And then, of course, go to the Karen Hunter show. Make that your favorite little star. Let make sure that's colored in and then go to just type in Dr. Robin in the search. Boom. And you'll see Sundays and the previous Sunday. Uh, but I've made up my mind to be free is mm -hmm. last week and just make that a favorite as well as the Dr. Robin show. I love that. Uh, get the app, y'all. It's the it's the way the algorithms uh, where we can let the world know what we really care about. It's one thing to listen in the car, but the app is where they know for sure Absolutely. who you're listening to, who you are. Um, there's a lot. I wanted to talk about sisterhood and relationships today with you. And um, uh, how, how are you feeling really? How are you doing really? Um, so tell me what you're asking so I can answer. Yeah. You, 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 you know, people sitting, you, you having the bottom, the bottom drops out a lot. Sometimes it drops out more than once. It's like, if you're living a life, if you're mm -hmm. really living a life, things are going to happen, especially if you're living it, you know, you're really going out, you're going to, you know, run into obstacles and things. It's just part of the nature, you know, and things are unexpected always things happen always. that are unexpected always. and it comes in waves and you know to sit in it because we have to sit in it the, you know some of us you know, run through it and don't acknowledge you know which is a defense mechanism unto itself it's what we i think epigenetically has been true you got just keep picking the cotton put your head down yes yeah. strategies around you but you got to keep moving because you know it's got to yes for, for you your you know, you go silent, you, you, you take time with yourself. The, are those the things that you do? Yeah, I take time with myself. I um, spend as much time as I can outside um, in nature because the nature reminds me of what is true. Um, you know, both the, the running of water, the breaking of trees, the, those trees that are broken, still growing. Um, so I, I do that. I also, uh, depending upon how I'm feeling, you know, you've been talking today and, and often, which is so important about what we eat and how what we eat impacts how we feel. So I also pay attention to what I'm eating and how I'm eating and how I'm nurturing and nourishing myself. And I also am careful about who I'm around. I'm very careful about who I am around and who I spend time with and um, how available I make myself to um, people. And that is often misunderstood and judged and not liked. Um, I'm an introvert anyway, which also is confusing to people because they're like, yeah, but you spend your life, whether it's on radio or television or giving speeches. And that's true, uh, but my nature, is a quieter, more reserved um, nature. I appreciate, Karen, as you're talking about also the, the floor falling out. I mean, and, and in this moment, I mean, life is good for me and um, I'm in a good space and in a good place. And uh, But you're right, things come in cycles. And so I know that part of this cycle of stillness and quietness and abundance in certain ways is so that I can be fueled up for when other things happen. We know that, you know, we've talked about my brother dying. It's only been four months suddenly and um, other things that have gotten stirred up. But I also have my mind, you know, that's why I did this. You know, I've got my mind made up to be free. And so freedom is a decision. It's not a feeling, it's, it's really a decision. Um, to be free, not about, you know, whether or not I'm 
I, I woke up on the right side um, of the bed or the right side of my issue, but it's really whether or not I've made a decision to claim my divine birthright. And I believe that is to be free for all of us. What does that look like? Um, I had an amazing conversation on Monday with Dr. Black and, uh, you know, I would work every day. I don't call this work. I would be here every day if, you know, Smith would be here every day. But, you know, he was like, "Mm -mm, I need my time off. So I was like, all right. But we did come back on January 2nd when most people were still off because most people were still off. And, you know, the holidays are rough for a lot of folk. And I wanted to be here. Uh, We were here on President's Day. We were here on Martin Luther King Day. Uh, We're going to be here when most people are not here because I want to be in places where most people are not going to be there because this is not a job for me so but having dr black on monday for three hours i was like oh my goodness where has he been all my life but i don't think i was ready for him all my life i wasn't ready for him until now maybe he wasn't ready for him until now you know it's like that you know and and it's okay to not be ready as well like that's a part of you yes yeah how do you get the journey how do you get to a place where you are making a decision every day about how your day, because he talked about not just, you know, freedom is jumping into the void without knowing and then knowing that I am going to be able to change the chemistry or whatever is it, like I have the power to create whatever it is I need to have happen in that thing that I'm not sure about. Yes. You know, yeah. But, but think about what he was talking about because I heard it, um, does have to do with recognizing how powerful, I mean, truly powerful we are. So instead of feeling, and we talked about this with my my panel, there is this, you know, we, we trauma bond. We bond with people around trauma. We bond with people around uh, weakness. And we bond with people around abuse. And so if that is what we feed, that is what grows. And so Dr. Black and you and, um, you know, Pastor Mike, I mean, uh, we're all talking and, and Jay and Lauren about the decision to, to own our power and owning our power is not because someone told me that I am powerful. It's actually beginning to experience myself as powerful. And there are people who are afraid of that. They're, they've been so wired to feel at the mercy of the court, shall we say, you know, at the, at the mercy of racism, at the mercy of, of all the isms. And so if I feed that, then I actually am at the mercy, not because it is true, but because I made it true. So is it not, is it true that, and I heard you talking to a guest, I'm not even sure which day, but it was, you know, this week, that if we are, uh, I mean, slavery is a real thing. I mean, we all know that. I mean, it, you know, it happened. People were enslaved and I was talking to a friend, but if we look at the, this whole landscape in terms of time, the amount of time that Black people were enslaved is minuscule in comparison to the amount of time that we have reigned um, as, as royal, brilliant people. And so, but we don't know that. And so we keep talking about, you know, as if our whole lives have this landscape of being enslaved, that's just a small part. It's a significant part, but it is more significant because we feed it. Yeah, yeah. You are what you eat, but you are also what you feed. Uh, Dr. Robin is here. And you are what you think. You are what you think. So if you think that you are less than, and if you think that, you know, racism is always going to control you and you're never going to get ahead, and that is what you speak, and that is what you think, and that is what you nurture, that is what you will manifest. 